everybody, this is SNA Exclusive coming to you guys from MaddenSchool.com, giving you guys a tip on how to stop the run out of the 46 bear formation. We're going to dive into it right here, and uh, this is the first play to give you guys a little taste of what this formation can do for you. Uh, the way that this works is, I think I'm going to go back to the play call screen right here, and I'm going to look at replay. The way this works is you're basically just going to have two guys on the edge setting the edge and it's very effective at stopping outside runs such as stretches and tosses very effective at doing that because you got two guys out there who can set the edge and it works of course it always works better if you have guys with higher block shedding I've got Nada at, at uh, left end and then Suggs at actually subbed him in at middle linebacker for this formation because this is just my running run stopping and blitzing formation so I don't need Daryl Smith but what I like to do is I, wanna, I like to run the cover three drop and I like to flip it, which allows me to show blitz and get this look off of it. Uh, you run to the other side. Once again, Elvis Dumervel sets the edge, but they just find a gap. And obviously my pursuit is able to get there for a gain of four, which is really nothing in the scheme of things. Because more often than not, this is going to happen right here. Gets off the block and it's just stuffed for no gain loss of one. Like I said, very effective at stopping outside runs. You can see here, Elvis Dumerville doesn't have great strength, doesn't have great block shedding. He's still able to beat the tight end and set the edge for you very nicely. And everything that is open for the running back is straight up the field right into your pursuit. Plays into your defense's hands very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead here and show you guys a couple different plays. I'm going to call the same play, cover three drop, go into uh, the I form, and we're just going to call power. We're going to try running power. And this play is particularly shut down because there is nothing to the outside. You have to follow your block and go up the field, which is exactly what on, on defense that I want to happen. So you're going to see here again, it's going to try to go like this. goes right up the field. I get a little antsy there. Still, it's, it's running into blockers and you're having to make plays. There's nothing free that's given on this defense. And there's lots of flexibility that you can do with this defense too. You can drop people, you can rush people. It's used as a pass defense too. I use it as I use it as my all-encompassing defense here. But as you can see, running power against this with a fullback, just nothing, nothing there. Just yeah, as you can see, there's just nothing to the outside. It has to cut it back upfield, right where my pursuit is. Matt Elam's right there to make the tackle. I'm gonna move on, and I don't remember if I run this to the left side or not, but I might just go straight into running stretch or toss. Okay, we're going to try toss here. This is extremely effective against toss. Trail Suggs is going to blow this play up. Beats the blocker. Backfield loss of five every time. It's very consistent. Every once in a while, Suggs will have to beat two blockers, but even then, he gets right in the backfield and takes out blockers, and your pursuit can get there. As you can see, as the free safety, I'm pretty much right there to make up anyways. So I think I'm, gonna, I'm either going to run this to the left, or I'm going to go straight to stretch. So we'll see what happens. Yep, I'm gonna run stretch now. And as you can see, as you're gonna see, edge is set by both Suggs and Holodinata. Nowhere to go. So like I said, guys, a very effective outside run base run defense here. You've got very effective because and it can work for both sides too. And if someone wants to overload that one side, you can always move Matt Elam to either side to defend that. But it's very good at shutting down the edge, so if you guys want to give this defense a try, if you're having trouble stopping the run, go ahead and go for it. Otherwise, visit MaddenSchool.com for more tips and tricks.